Happy Thursday, everybody. I'm coming to you this week from the Container Store and wanted to give you an insight to how I shop for my clients. I'm here this week looking for drawer dividers for a particular client and this is something that if you just take the measurements online, it's not always the best um, accuracy. And I mean, I've gotten down to like the 16th of an inch and thought I was totally on and then got to my client's house and we were just off by a hair. So you never really know. And the greatest thing to do is to measure your drawer um, or anywhere else you're putting organizing pieces and you wanna do the width, the depth, and the height of the drawer. We have a lot of very shallow drawers these days that are only a couple inches high. And then if there isn't a divider that's like already put together for you that's, you know, eight by 12, let's say with a bunch of compartments and you have to find your own compartments to put together, then that's something where you really wanna take measuring to the next level. And I've had success by sort of drawing a floor plan and bringing it with me to the, the store. And then I will literally lay out those organizers on the ground and remeasure to make sure they're gonna fit. And it's okay to have some wiggle room on each side um, to keep the dividers in the drawers from sliding around. They've got those little rubberized mats. And those are really, spe like they make a huge difference when your stuff isn't sliding all over the place. So just a quick tip this week because I was here and I was thinking of you. And um, just let me know how it's going. If you're part of the Living With Clarity uh, membership, we are having our live Q&A call this Saturday at 6 p.m. So if you're part of that group, you'll get the link to call in and ask me any questions you have. And if you wanna learn more about the Living With Clarity, you can access the link below. Have a great, great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye.